Hello and welcome to this all exciting course on coordinate geometry. Now as we begin, I would want to give you a brief background information on what this topic is all about. Coordinate geometry is basically based on what we call the Cartesian coordinate system and the Cartesian plane. So what is the Cartesian plane? The Cartesian plane is defined by two perpendicular lines the horizontal x-axis and the y-axis which is vertical. The two axes meet at the origin or simply O. We can use this axis to describe any point in the plane using an ordered pair of numbers in the form x, y. x being the x-coordinate and y being the y-coordinate. Note how the coordinates x and y are separated by a comma at the middle. So any point on the Cartesian plane has its own distinct set of coordinates. The origin, for example, has coordinates 0, 0 while this point here, point A, has coordinates 2, 5. This is because its position corresponds to 2 on the horizontal axis and 5 on the vertical axis. The x-axis is positive to the right side of the origin and negative on the left side, while the y-axis is positive above the origin and negative below it. Now it's also important for you to know that any point on the x-axis has its y-coordinate as 0. Look at this point here. It is positioned at 5 on the x-axis, so its x-coordinate must be 5. How about its y-coordinate? We read the y-coordinate on the y-axis and I think you can notice that the y-coordinate in this case is 0. Therefore, any point that lies on the x-axis has its coordinates in the form a0, where a can take the value of any real number and the y-coordinate is always 0. Similarly, all points on the y-axis take the form 0b, where b is any real value on the y-axis. Notice that x is always 0 on the y-axis. So we have established that on the x-axis, y is equal to 0, and on the y-axis, x is equal to 0. Now 